town in the south of Florida, Miami is the home port of many cruise ships which travel the Caribbean. People make their way here from all over the world to enjoy the leisurely comfort of a sea voyage. The Royal Caribbean's gigantic cruise ship Voyager of the Seas is a technical wonder of modern times and also the largest ocean-going cruise liner in the world. Endless corridors lead to numerous cabins of all categories with over 3,000 beds. The most modern and luxurious ensuite bathrooms have been included. Even the smallest cabins provide a comfortable bedroom and anteroom. The mega liner has all the most modern life rafts, and after the prescribed emergency procedures, it leaves the harbour majestically. The experience of a lifetime is about to begin. Today's ships are built larger and more spectacularly than ever before. The ship's builder's art is superlative and the extravaganza is its shining star. In the evening, everything is ready. We cast off and set sail. The journey to the Caribbean can begin. And thus the ship's captain receives his special guests. This most modern example of interior design, along with more than 4,000 objets d'art, costs a grand total of 100 million US dollars. The result is superlative. Fourteen glass panorama lifts service 14 floors and give an impressive view of the inner workings of the ship. The gigantic atrium with all of its glittering sections in chrome and glass gives the impression of a utopian futuristic building. So let's start at the top. On the ship's uppermost deck, the Skylight Chapel brings religious believers a little closer to God. At the core of this floating city is the two-story J. Pritzker Library, a library with comfortable chairs, its floors are connected by an open spiral staircase. Here there are more than 3,000 books, as well as modern computers and internet facilities. Also available, an interactive conference center and conference room. And right at the center, close to a large open staircase, is the reception. After that, one can freshen up with a massage and a swim in the small pool, or be pampered in the Roman sauna. The wellness and beauty center is part of the ship's basic equipment. Experienced trainers dispense the most modern training programs, from step aerobics to body shaping, and all this is inclusive, 
no extra costs. In the meantime, one can relax in the generous pool area, and it's usually very hot here. Cool drinks, great rhythms and close neighbours, because most want to take advantage of the Caribbean sun. One can also relax on comfortable sunbeds in the side corridors, on the upper pool deck, where the wind may upset the hairdos, but is well compensated for by the beautiful views. The onboard parties are led by an experienced master of ceremonies and the rhythms immediately strike the right chord. In the middle of a landscaped outdoor play area for children on the afterdeck, there's a swimming pool. Adventure Ocean is the name of the modern indoor entertainment centre for the kids of today, with all kinds of interactive games and arcade amusements. On the rear deck, for golf lovers, there's a nine-hole golf course, which should of course be used only when there's a calm wind. Particularly good design innovation in the fitness area. Its gigantic chimney has been transformed into a climbing wall. Experienced trainers explain to courageous climbers how to use ropes, hooks and other equipment. Immediately in front of the climbing wall, on the top deck, basketball tournaments are held and rollerblade fans can glide around in circles high above the calm seas. And gentler group aerobic exercises are available in the healthy sea air. Located on the foredeck, peace and relaxation can be found in the Greek bath. Just as in ancient times, fine and ornate statues adorn the small bath. Also included in this leisure paradise is a small covered whirlpool and the solarium bar. Particularly fascinating is the successful integration of three restaurants on three decks, an idea copied from the interior of the Paris Opera House. And the ceiling of this room, which links the floors through an open staircase, is crowned by an enormous crystal chandelier. For those who want to eat in a hurry and without ceremony, there's a modern self-service restaurant. A large, well-organized kitchen and a hundred chefs cater for the well-being and varied tastes of the ship's guests. A diversity of cafes, 
and even a fast food burger bar with entertainment facilities cater for any whim. Slowly, night begins to fall and the outdoor deck starts to empty. Almost inaudibly, the ocean cruiser glides over the sea. Only in the late evening does it begin to become lively on the pool decks once again. Calypso bands and various entertainers present a jolly show and the joie de vivre under the Caribbean starry skies knows no bounds. Likewise, there's a generous entertainment program in the La Scala Theatre. This ostentatious two-storey entertainment facility is situated in the main body of the ship and seats an audience of 1,350. This features spectacular reviews and an array of international stars. The most unexpected attraction is to be found in Studio B. An ice rink for passengers to skate. And it's also used for international ice reviews. In Cleopatra's Needle Club Bar, for those who like a game of chance, Bingo provides entertainment throughout the day. Here, people play, celebrate and chat. These are popular cruising pursuits. Several elegant bars pamper nightlife aficionados as they wander through the ship. Also at the disposal of the guests, an original Irish pub and, of course, an intimate dance club. Scoreboards is the name of the ship's betting cafe, which has a selection of the most important races. There's even a bar with mini golf. Needless to say, there's also a modern discotheque. And naturally, on a cruise ship, there's a casino with blackjack, roulette, dice, video poker and one-armed bandits. Those who are really lucky may even win back the cost of their holiday.
After a short night at sea, the first early risers begin to set foot on the top deck. The morning beckons when jogging and walking are the order of the day. Voyager of the Seas awakes. Another day of adventure begins. Most of the passengers are enjoying breakfast or getting washed and dressed. The swimming decks are well laid out. Each deck chair has its own allotted space. The ocean giant glides along tranquilly and unhindered. A gigantic and totally unique hotel complex. Unexpectedly, we're even allowed to take a glimpse into the nerve center of this floating world, a computer landscape with extensive views. Here, Uninterrupted peace and sun worship reign supreme, and each officer understands precisely which domains are under his command. And this tiny joystick steers the ship. But most of the navigation is carried out by technology and ingenious computer programs, and man supervises all. Now the first destination of the journey, the Caribbean island of Haiti. Because the massive ship has to be some distance from the shore, passengers are taken to dry land on small boats. Here, dreams of the exotic and of paradise come true. Shiny white sandy beaches, rocky shores and crystal clear waters an oasis of the senses. Like a giant, the cruise ship looks across the bay of Labade, in which there's plenty of room to swim and sunbathe. Those keen for adventure explore the island in groups, while others just enjoy the shopping. Perhaps there'll still be time to spare for a romantic boat trip along the tropical coast. The mood on board is good, and there's also the chance to sunbathe at the same time. lucky people keep us entertained. They move their lithe bodies like cats to the rhythm of a steel band, but it's time to return to the ship. Our next destination is the island of Jamaica, where we drop anchor in Ojos Rios. This is where large cruise ships lay anchor, but for this mega liner, custom-built landing ramps had to be specially constructed. Jamaica is one of the most beautiful islands in the Caribbean, and it's where Christopher Columbus spent the last years of his life. This bay was once used by buccaneers as a base for their operations. The local population welcomed tourism. 
The Coyaba River Garden, with its pools and tropical plants, is an oasis of tranquility. Throughout the year, more than a million visitors attempt to climb up the Duns River Falls. The water plunges 200 meters over numerous limestone blocks into the sea below. Now we stop off the coast of Mexico on the island of Cozumel. The land of the Mayas conjures up the magic of ancient ruins and mystique. Here, centuries-old history becomes a living experience and an impressive adventure. Unfortunately, we don't have much time left on dry land. Our floating luxury hotel awaits us once more. The journey continues into the evening, the last one on board ship, and a grand farewell to all the wonderful comforts, luxuries and good company. Perhaps a quick shopping spree in the exclusive on-board shops. But now Mardi Gras is celebrated. A final parade in the form of a review is taking place in the liner's large atrium, a replica of London's Burlington Arcade. Again, the ship's numerous entertainers dress up for the many different shows and present a colourful collection of unusual costumes and entertaining vignettes. Spinners is a great attraction for people who want a little flutter. It's a rotating games arcade with the largest interactive roulette wheel in the world. But the climax of the cruise is the gala dinner. And before it begins, you can feast your eyes on a tasteful array of amazing hors d'oeuvres and sumptuous desserts. This dream of a cruise comes to an end. A week of luxury in a gigantic floating hotel city. The journey on the largest cruise ship in the world. One last lingering glance at the ship before the contented passengers are taken to the airport where they catch their planes home. The simple vision of a cruise has been turned into a luxurious and amazing reality. <laughs>